Hey everyone, it's Deja from CrochetEverAfter.com. Today I'm going to show you how to change color when you're working a foundation single crochet. So you can kind of see I have some tails here. I'm going to show you how you can work your foundation single crochet and right in the middle of it switch to a new color. That way you don't have to actually work like a foundation chain and then work your first row of single crochet so you're able to change color. It's super easy, super clean looking. I'm going to show you how to do it. So grab a couple um, balls of worsted yarn and we'll get started. Okay, the first thing that we have to do for our foundation single crochet is begin foundation single crocheting. So we're going to put a slip knot on our hook and we're going to chain two, which is always the first step of our foundation single crochet. I like to pull this first loop out just a tad so it's not as um, squished down as you normally get them since we have to use these. So we're going to do two chains and then we're going to start the foundation single crochet. So the way I like to explain it is that we're combining the foundation chain and the single crochet together into one stitch. So that kind of helps you to remember the steps. So the first thing we need to do is insert our hook in the second or the first chain you made, the second from your hook. And then we need to create a foundation chain. So we're going to pull up the loop and then we're going to chain one. So we kind of pull through and pull through just that first chain. And that's going to create the very first foundation chain of our row. Then we have two loops on our hook. We got to create our single crochet. So we yarn over and we pull through the two on our hook. And now we have the single crochet. So that first foundation chain is important to remember because we have to keep insert our, inserting our hook under it. So if we look closely, it kind of looks like a V. It's going to look more like a V the more that we make but we need to get under both of those loops. So insert your hook so that you're under both of those loops, which is your foundation chain, and yarn over and pull up your loop again. So now we're gonna create our next foundation chain. So we yarn over and pull through just that first loop to make our chain. Got two loops on our hook, yarn over, pull through both to make your single crochet. So now we look, it's starting to look more like a foundation chain. Again, we're gonna insert our hook under those two loops, pull up your loop. I'm going to get some slack here so I can actually make something. Okay. Yarn over, pull through just that first loop to make your foundation chain. Got two loops. Yarn over, single crochet. So as we look, we can see the single crochets starting to form on top of our foundation chain. I'll do a couple more and then we'll start switching colors. So we pull up our loop, yarn over, foundation chain, yarn over, single crochet. That's the best way that I remember how to do it so that I know where to put my hook, what I'm supposed to be making. And if you mess up at all, which I do have a video, but basically when you're making these, if you mess up, just get back until you have one loop. Because you'll notice when I pulled out, I had two. If I do just my foundation chain and I lose my hook, I still have two of bunny ears. So I pull out till I have one loop. Go back. Any time that you mess up, just pull out until you only have one loop left. Because if I pull this one out, you'll see I have my bunny ears. I still have a bunny ear. I pull that out. I still have like a little bunny ear there. So I keep pulling until I have one loop. And if you forget what side of that that is, just look at your actual foundation chain. Just like if you're working a regular foundation chain and you single croch crocheted, crocheted, <laughs> your chain would be on the opposite side. So wherever that is, the top part is the top part of your single crochet. So now let's change color on our next stitch. So we're gonna insert our hook into that foundation chain and you can see it's really starting to look like one. You can see the V's very clearly now. We're gonna yarn over, pull up our loop. We've gotta do our foundation chain. And then we're gonna stop here. So now this is technically like the last step of your single crochet. So whenever you're changing color in single crochet, you always work up to this last step, and this is where you add your new color. So grab my tail here, so I can find it. Here we go. So I'm just gonna start with my new color. So instead of working that last single crochet with the green, I'm switching to blue, and I'm gonna pull that through. So I'm gonna leave the green there. That's something that you'll have to um, weave in, say fasten in, weave in, and then we're going to start working our next 
color. So again, we have our foundation or our foundation chain here. So we're gonna insert our hook right under there. Kind of just pull on everything if you want to get it a little bit tighter. Yarn over, pull up your loop. Yarn over, pull through the first, and pull through the second. Do a few of those so you can see how it looks once it's a little bit more spaced out. But if you need to change back to green, cut the green, weave it in, and then do a new green. Don't run the tail because it looks very clean as it is right now, but if you run that tail, it's a little impossible to hide it unless you're doing a one-sided project, and even then it's not going to be very pretty. So just cut it and weave it in and add in a new um, tail of green. It's extra work, but it's going to look a lot nicer. So we'll do this side since there's no tails really on this side. So you can see you can change color in foundation single crochet. It's very easy. Just do that very last um, step of your foundation single crochet is when you're going to change your color. And then just weave these in in the color that they belong to so that they're not visible and you'll be set to go. So now you can do a color work project without having to have one solid row of color for your foundation. And that is it. So thank you for watching.